For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Now, before we go any further, I forgot to mention this and I'm going to say it now. The name of this subject, wow, is targeted for perfection. Mm. Mm. Okay, moving right along. I'm continuing to read now. Verse 8, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal bodies. So then death worketh in us, but life in you. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I'm going to stop there because I got to get to the point here. Listen, we have to remember, it, I, I, let me share this real quick because this example I feel like should be dealt with. The example I got while I was studying for this message is sometimes you see stories of what they call mules. That's M-U-L-E a mule. Now we're not talking about a donkey or a jackass or, you know, we're not talking about that. What this is for, this describes when the drug cartels want to uh, smuggle illegal substances into the states. They will oftentimes use a human body, a human host, so to speak. And they're carrying this illegal substance to fulfill their purpose, which is making money. And it can be life-threatening because it is a foreign entity in that body and it can rupture and cause problems. Well, here's the difference. This is what God does. God will place a hidden jewel inside of you. And you and I are mules for the kingdom. We're carrying something powerful. We're carrying a substance and we're smuggling it into the enemy's camp, the world, the world system, people's lives. And this item is to be used to set captives free get people saved, change their lives, impact many. Now here's what happens. We are born and shapen in iniquity. Like the word says, we carry this treasure in earthen vessels. Now listen to this now. Your body, which is your flesh, we're talking in the spirit realm, your flesh tries to reject the substance God has placed in you. And as it tries to reject it, the reason for the rejection is because your body is given to sin. Your flesh, the carnal man in you, is given and bent on sin. Bent on re rebelling against God's ways. 
But God's spirit that's in you tells your flesh, no, do not reject that. I place that there for a purpose. Mm, mm, mm. So here you are in the last days being a Holy Ghost mule carrying the deutermost power of God. That's why you must be filled with the Holy Spirit. You guys are carrying something in you and you've got to stay the course to see what it is. The reason you have to stay the course is because you have no idea how lethal your substance is that you're carrying within. Now, the other example I saw was on a video. I felt to watch what it took to load a cannon because a cannon is a weapon of destruction and God will use us to edify the body of Christ in love, but he will also use us as weapons of destruction against the enemy's camp. And we know who our enemy is, don't we? It's not flesh, it's not blood. All right. Now what Satan tries to do, he tries to thwart. He tries to thwart and cancel what God has planned in your life. So every obstacle, every hindrance, every trial, every challenge, every area of friction and, and, and conflict and failure and setback and huh, every delay is his intention to neutralize you as God's weapon. And he tries to clutter you up with debris, debris, debris. But with a cannon now, picture yourself as this cannon. With a cannon, you must clean the barrel. Each time God uses you, each time you have been ignited and the cannon shoots out from you, you have to be cleaned on the inside. It's a constant cleaning process. You don't get used and then never have to clean. No, every time that, that cannon comes out of you, the man has to go inside of you and clean all the re residual uh, layers of gunpowder. They have to remove a moist, they have to put a moist pack in there and twirl it around and clean out the barrel and then put in a dry one and twirl it around and clean out the moisture left behind from the first one that was there to clean you out. Now, after you've been cleaned out, and that's the issue with our lives, no matter what we go through, it's all about cleaning, purging, stripping. You hear what I'm saying? It's all about girding up on the inner man, building up muscle, being strong in the power of his might. So you have to stay clean. So when they pack you and they put that weapon inside and God uses the Holy Spirit to ignite you and they aim you at the enemy, you hit your target. It doesn't just drop out and plop on the ground. It accomplishes what it was sent to do. Some of you, your mouths are cannons. Some of you, your acts are cannon, cannons. Some of you, what you write, what you do, what you don't do. So what Satan's purpose is, is to make you sick. Because if he weakens your resolve, If he discourages you, if he, if he destroys your faith, if he convinces you that it's not worth it in order to make you volunteer to give up, his purpose in doing that 
is to set up a spiritual infection so that your whole life, your whole body, your mind, emotion, spirit, man, everything rejects what God has placed in you, rejects the very thing, the very powerful thing that God has placed in you to use for his kingdom. Don't let that happen. Don't let the devil rip you off. Don't let the devil use your own mouth against you. Don't let the devil use your discouragement to allow debris to collect in your spirit. You have to guard what God has placed in you. You can't allow lies to put out God's fire 